that? Yeah. yeah. So we get the show on the road trip. Yeah, I'm hungry, so oh, the faster hungry? we go. Okay. Well, friends and family, on behalf of Danielle and James, I welcome you here this afternoon. They're absolutely delighted you're able to join them in this beautiful afternoon to celebrate with them this special moment in their lives. Danielle and James have asked us to take a brief moment of silence to remember those close to us, the loved ones that are no longer with us. Okay. Thank you. Danielle and James, thank you for your support in their lives up to this point and ask you to continue your support as they start this new chapter in their lives. I say chapter because this is not the end of their relationship. Contrary to popular marriage is not the end of a relationship, but a moment we stop and celebrate with friends and family, a special moment. Today, the relationship just changed. We believe that the love they have for each other will continue to grow and enrich their lives. And we're here to celebrate that love that they have. At this time, I'd like to invite Danielle's cousin, Brittany, up. She has a reading for us today. <laughs> there she is. You look beautiful, and you look very handsome. Okay. How falling in love is like owning a dog. First of all, it's a big responsibility, so think long and hard before deciding on love. On the other hand, love gives you a sense of security. When you're walking down the street late at night and you have a leash on love, ain't no one gonna mess with you. Because crooks and muggers think love is unpredictable. Who knows what love could do in its own defense? On cold winter nights, love is warm. It lies between you and lives and breathes and makes funny noises. Love wakes you up all hours of the night with its needs. It needs to be fed so it will, stay, it will grow and stay healthy. Love doesn't be like being left alone for long, but come home and love is always happy to see you. It may break a few things accidentally in its passion for love, or life, sorry. <laughs> but you can never be mad at love for long. Is love good all the time? No, no. Love can be bad, bad love, very bad. Love makes messes. Love leaves you little surprises here and there. Love needs lots of cleaning up after. Sometimes you just wanna get love fixed. Sometimes you wanna roll up a piece of newspaper and swat the nose. Not so much to cause pain, just to let love know, don't you ever do that again. Sometimes love just wants to go out for a nice long walk because love loves exercise. It'll run you around the block and leave you panting and breathless, pull you in different directions at once or wind itself around you until you're all wound up and you can't move. But love makes you meet people wherever you go. People who have nothing in common but love stop and talk to each other on the street. Throw things away and love will bring them back again and again and again. But most of all, love needs love, lots of it. And in return, love loves you and never stops. Thanks. No thank, thank you. you. No, no, thank you. That's what I'm here for. Thank you, Brittany. All right, we're coming down to the wire here. James, I got a question for you. When we met about a month ago, I did give you the answer. With any luck, you remembered that. So don't be looking out into the audience like you're on the prices right trying to get the right answer here, okay? But you have come here willingly and freely, without reservation, to be lawfully joined to this beautiful woman standing in front of you. I do, or yes? I would have taken oh yeah, no for sure. <laughs> yes, I, yeah. Not a problem. And do you promise to love and respect her and to be honest with her always and to stand by her through whatever may come? I do, yes. Okay. And Brittany, or sorry, Brittany. Brittany. It was looking good. Come on down, Brittany. I've got one more job for you. Oh, yeah. Danielle. 
You have come here willingly and freely to be lawfully joined to this beautiful man standing in front of you. Him, not me. Same name. I have. And do you promise to love and respect him, to be honest with him always, and to stand by him through whatever may come? I do. Okay. First legal hurdle over. Today, Danielle and James have written their own vows, or as I like to refer to it as the entertainment portion of the program. But I remind you both that saying your vows today is one thing, but nothing more important than living them day by day as time goes on. What you promise here today must be renewed every day that stretches out before you. And to do that, you be open, honest, and respectful to one another. So James, we'll commit you first. Don't worry about the mic, I'll hold it for you. Okay. <clears throat> Jim to Danielle. Danielle Lee Boutte. I know I don't say it enough, but you look beautiful. Not just today, but every day. Did you do something different with your hair? I love your laugh, I love your smile, your wit, and perhaps most tried of all, your patience. Now on, ooh, one more in there. Cliché as it may be, you're my rock when things get crazy, even if that craziness is often in my own head. You're my best friend, my favorite roommate, my most trusted hairstylist, my eternal Dr. Mario rival, and above all, you are the love of my life. Uh, there was a pause there. <laughs> uh, my favorite memories, bar none, are the trips we've taken together. The places we've been, neither uh, weather near nor far, it's always been an adventure with you. Now, on to the bows. I vowed to always be there for you, to provide the same support that you give to me every day. I vowed to devote myself to the pursuit of making you happy, to at least try to be everything that you are to me. It's another gap there. <clears throat> um, a longer one. Um, I promised you cafe mochas, even if you asked for one just as I finished cleaning out the machine. I promised to at least try to remember to feed the dog when you wake up late. I guess what I'm trying to say is I promise to leave you alone and let you sleep on, in and on the weekend. And to finally, after 30 years, provide you with a shorter last name. Unfortunately, you will still have to pe uh, spell it out to be people. <laughs> and finally, I solemnly swear to write shorter vows than you. We've only got, we, we've got a speech later. I've only got so many words. So with that, I've saved the most important words for last. There's another gap. <clears throat> I love you, Danielle, now and always. Okay, now onto the vows that uh, I wrote. I mean, the one you wrote for me. <laughs> You're gonna die. Oh, great. Oh, wait, there's more. Yeah, so this is one Danielle wrote for me. Danielle, I promise from this day forward, for as long as I love you, to share my blanket and sleep in with you for, for an extra half hour on weekends. There you go. It's not fair. My gym. As you know, I spend a lot of time dreaming. But for all of the time I ever spent lost in my imagination, I never could have imagined you or this weird, wild, wonderful life we've built together. I could never, in a million years of dreaming, have imagined myself a more perfect partner. You are everything I could ever want and everything I never knew I needed. The air around me is lighter always when you're near me. I feel calmer when you are in the room and I feel unstoppable when we're together. You make me feel strong and protected all at the same time. Every day you make me feel cherished and respected as your equal. You are without a doubt the hardest working, funniest, charming and most dedicated man I will ever know. <laughs> And I am so proud of everything that you do. As your wife, I promise to work just as hard as you do to make the life we've imagined together for ourselves a reality. I will support you through the crazy adventures and through whatever the future may hold for us. I will be your comfort and your refuge as you are mine. I swear that I will continue to trust you, take care of you, and love you to the fullest every single day for the rest of my life. Kind of feel like a jerk. All right, go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> I vow to laugh at all of your jokes, regardless of if they are all that funny or not, and to really oversell the laugh, possibly throwing in one of those elbow nudges. The above conditions extend past the usual to death do us part clause. Okay, the handshake makes the deal. All right, I saw them come down, so who has the rings for us? Don't drop them. All right, Jim, take the smaller one there. Place it on Danielle's left ring finger and repeat after me. Except him wear this ring. Except, Except him wear this, this ring. As a symbol of the vows and promises. As a symbol of the vows and promises that we have made this day. With all that I am. With all that I am. I honor you. I honor you. <laughs> that okay. echo, man. Yeah, yeah, it, it throws you off, doesn't it? Okay, Danielle, if you would take this ring and place it on Jim's left ring finger and repeat everything he just said to you. Oh, I do not remember that. <laughs> I do. It's, it's, it's worth a shot. I try. Yeah. Jim, accept and wear this ring. Jim, accept and wear this ring. As a symbol of the vows and promises. As a symbol of the vows and promises that we have made this day. With all that I am. With all that I am. I honor you. Go ahead and see a better foot. Oh. All right. Well, on behalf of everyone here, our wishes and thoughts for you too are that you wear these rings in love and happiness in all your days. May the love that has brought you here today continue to grow and enrich your lives. And may you always meet with courage any problems which may arise to challenge you. And when they do, may the love in your hearts always find you self back in each other's. All right, we're this close. Danielle, James, we all heard you promise to live your lives in marriage. We all honor and respect that covenant which you have made before all of us as witnesses. And in that honesty and sincerity, it is my great, great privilege to say, by the authority vested in me by the province of Ontario and with the blessings of everyone here, that you two henceforth be known as husband and wife. I invite you to share your first kiss as a married couple. All right, we got some documents to sign. All right. Just talk quietly amongst yourselves for a few minutes. We'll be right back.
All right. This is my second favorite part of doing these. I get to introduce the couple, even before the DJs do. So without further ado, I present to you Mrs. and Mr. Kaylor. Thank you. 